What's up witches? I'm Blythe and today I'm going to be doing my second Tame Toon unboxing. So let's see what we got. And here she is. So the first thing we got here is a card. It says magical and edible flowers on the front. And then on the back it has a list of some magical and edible flowers and it just goes through some of their magical properties and how you can eat them like do you put them in tea or, or salads or stuff like that so that is that the next thing we have is the identification card that shows you what actually comes in the box and on the back it goes through the ritual that you're supposed to do using the items that you got in the box the next thing we have is this envelope. I'm gonna open it. And on the back it has their logo. And then on the front side it has these species identification cards for, um, it looks like foraging wild flowers or wild plants. That you can go, you can identify the plant say their medicinal uses, their magical uses, um, any other notes, um, the botanical name, and then a sketch or a drawing in this area here. So that's that. And there are six of those. A description of these cards says, Designed by North Coast Apothecary, this set of six cards for jotting notes and sketches that will help us identify plants in the wild. We suggest including the medicinal and magical properties of each plant and storing these cards in a notebook or grimoire. Next in our box of goodies, it looks like we have some seeds. So <clears throat> these are thyme seeds and it says winter thyme. Select a site in full sun. After all danger of frost is passed, sow seeds in cultivated soil a quarter inch deep with rows 18 inches apart. Water is needed until seedlings are well established. Um, <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but where I live, it's already getting frosty. So I uh, might have to plant these indoors. Next, we have some nasturtium seeds. And on the back side, it says, Nasturtium uh, Dwarf Jewel Mix. The leaves and flowers are edible with a flavor similar to watercress. Plant in full sun, light shade in the south. After the last frost, one half inch deep, spacing two inches apart. Water is needed until seedlings are well established. Next up, we have some mixed kitchen herbs. And on the back here, it says, Included in this mix are sweet basil, dill, cilantro, and parsley. So a quarter inch deep, one inches apart in prepared garden soil after frost danger has passed or start indoors in a sunny location. Water is needed until the seedlings are well established. The description for these says, for the second part of this ritual, we will plant one packet of seeds to balance what we have taken from the earth today. Save the other two for future rituals. Since kitchen witch season is approaching, many of us will be drawn towards the mixed kitchen herbs to supplement our fall garden. Next up, we have some Naban tea. Um, here is this. Looks like, looks like black tea. My dog. And the description says, it contains black tea, orange peel, cinnamon, and natural fruit flavoring. And there's a quote by Oscar Wilde, and all at once, summer collapsed into fall. Black tea is known for its antioxidant properties, while orange is said to aid in migraines and head pain for the mystics. This blend honors the turn of the wheel and the second harvest in the season of three. I'm actually going to go make some right now, and I'll be back in three, two, one. Still need to let that steep so it's just gonna sit over there for a minute well the description card says maven tea 
Although this ritual touches on the elements of the season, it makes no difference whether we perform this ritual on the cusp of Mabin or weeks after. What matters is that we recognize most of the time we are teetering on a precipice. Today we might still feel the warmth of summer, but those days are behind us. Remember them fondly and then let them go. Brew a cup of Maven tea whenever you're undergoing a metamorphosis, physically or spiritually, or would like to widen your perspective. This tea contains a blend of black tea, orange peel, and cinnamon. And I did open it to make the tea and it does smell a lot like cinnamon and orange. So we'll see what it tastes like here in a minute. So my tea has been sitting for a couple minutes. I'm gonna give her a try. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm not usually a fan of black tea and this tastes exactly like black tea with a little bit of cinnamon and a little bit of orange peel. So if that's up your alley, this one's for you. Next in our box of goodies, we have this pouch. And it is a little leaf amulet. Can you see it there? There it is. This silver leaf amulet symbolizes our acceptance of Earth's seasonal rhythms and endless transitions. During the first part of this ritual, we would charge this amulet before adding to a charm bracelet or necklace chain. And apparently this is part of a series they've been doing. And this is, I think, five out of six or fourth out of six. It's the fourth one out of, um, they're gonna do a total of six of these. So if you wanted to get the whole set, it says you can buy the rest of it on their website. Next up, we have a tea bowl. <laughs> There's no description because it's pretty self-explanatory. <laughs> I was wondering since last box I got loose leaf tea and no way to drink it. I was wondering if some people got a little surprised, it's like if you didn't have a tea diffuser, how would you drink your tea? But looks pretty simple. You open it up, put your loose leaf tea inside, close her up, and dunk her in. It's got a little chain, uh, it's got a little hook on the top to um, hang on the side of your cup. And last in our box, we have this. <laughs> Here it is, a little tote bag. It's got imprints of flowers on it. I'm not a kitchen witch. I just like to eat. Uh, so I cannot identify any of these things. And the same print on the back. It says it is a foraging tote. If you perform as many rituals outdoors as you do at your altar, then a foraging tote is a necessity. Use this bag to carry your tools while you collect flowers, cuttings, and other findings. We hope that you find this tote useful when preparing for today's ritual and also during future outdoor excursions. And that's all she wrote. I'm not gonna go through the whole ritual with you because it is a lengthy guy. Um, but it does take you through step by step on going into the forest, into a sacred space, collecting five flowers that you're probably already familiar with, and performing a ritual to charge your amulet that they gave you. So this is what I got in my box. If that's all you came for to see what was in it, I'll see you in the next one. But you can stick around and I'll give you some of my thoughts on how I felt about this box and Tamed Wild in general. Welcome back, and it's time for the tea. So if you are unfamiliar with Tamed Wild, they are a subscription box. Um, you can buy one box at a time, but you do get a deal if you um, sign up for any of the subscriptions. So one box, one single use box is $25 plus a $5 shipping, but if you do any of the other subscription deals, they're $20 a box plus the $5 shipping. So I got this box and everything in it for $25. I did do a three month subscription and this is my second box of the three. 
I do think it is a good deal, especially if you do any of the subscriptions because for 20 bucks, I got a tote, a tea ball, some seeds, some information, a tea, and a little amulet. So for what it is, I think it is a good deal if this is your thing. In my last box, I did think it was weird that they sent out loose leaf tea with no way to drink it. But now that I see that they do occasionally send out tea balls, um, it makes a little more sense. Also, the tea is specifically for Maven, and I am filming this late, but I did not get my box delivered to my house until like three days after Maven. So that also seems a little weird that they would give you like a Maven ritual tea that comes after Maven has passed. They do mention on their card that you don't have to drink this tea specifically on Maven, just in general when you're going through uh, metamorphosis, but still a little strange. It's like receiving a Christmas tea two days after Christmas. It's like, okay, thanks. But overall, I am happy with the box. I do like these things. I like what they send out. I am not really a kitchen witch or green witch. I couldn't identify any kind of plant but maybe this is to push me out of my boundaries and try a little something new. I'm not opposed to learning new things. And I do like plants in general. I just don't know about plants, about their magical properties, about their um, spiritual properties. As far as the ritual goes, will I try and do it and charge this amulet with plants? Maybe I will. And even though it does go through like very specifically what you're supposed to do, like me not knowing anything about wild plants, I wouldn't know what I was picking up. I wouldn't know their medicinal properties. I wouldn't know their magical properties in the first place. So uh, it's gonna be very hard for me to do this, but maybe I'll give it a try. I don't know what else I would do with this otherwise. I will definitely use the tea ball. Love that, it's great. We'll definitely use this tote bag, um, probably mostly for shopping, not going out into the woods and collecting strange flowers. Seems nice quality. It's a nice canvas. Sturdy. As far as these seeds go, I don't know what I want to do. On the description card, it did say to plant some of them now and save the rest for spring but it's already getting cold here like we've already had snow so i definitely can't plant them outside i have to plant them inside so i don't know what i'm gonna do i do like the teas that they send out like i said i'm just not a fan of black teas in general it's not their fault i just don't like them um over other teas uh but if you like black tea with cinnamon and orange peels, that's what this one tastes like. So this one's for you. Another thing I will say about the Tamed Wild boxes is they're always pretty specific. So like this one was all focused on plants and gathering plants and doing this one ritual. And like I said, I'm not really a green witch, hedge witch, whatever. So if what the box is focused on isn't really your thing, uh, <laughs> I don't know what you would do with it. Um, like last month's box was on crystal gridding. So it had a lot of crystals. It had a crystal gridding mat. It had a pendulum charm that you would use on your crystal grid. So if crystal gridding is not your thing and you got a whole crystal gridding box, like what are you supposed to do with it? And like, now I'm kind of up in the air on this one because it's all green witch stuff, which I'm not. So I don't know. I do think it is hard to make a box for witches because the craft is so varied that everybody's into different stuff. And you know, you don't have to be into every single thing that's out there. So the fact that these boxes are pretty specific to one thing each time. Like if you only bought one box and it was the crystal gridding box and you don't do crystals, then what are you supposed to do with it? Like it would be a waste of money and you don't know 
in advance what you're gonna get. Like I didn't know this was going to be the September box. So it's not like you can pick and choose which ones you wanna get. You just get what you get and that's it. While the boxes are within the realm of magic, you might get a box that's focused on something that's not within your comfortability or just something you don't want to practice. So that was my September Tamed Wild Box. I hope you guys had fun um, and I'll see you on the next one. And remember, don't be a good witch, be a great witch. Bye.